So what a reasonable adjustment to make when it comes to someone's mental health. Reasonable adjustment. Okay, so we're talking about a workplace setting and where a manager needs to adjust to accommodate someone who might be going through something challenging. The difficulty is in the word reasonable, which is actually the term that's used in the workplace health and safety legal uh, documents. The difficulty is that reasonable is decided after the fact, usually in a court of law by a judge as to, to what is interpreted as reasonable, which makes it difficult for us as managers to know how to make decisions when we would prefer not to get to the point of being in a court in front of a judge. So generally what it means is something that most people would believe to be reasonable as an adjustment. And I know that's not particularly helpful when you're trying to decide in the moment uh, when it's actually happening. So another way that I like to think about it is, is this thing that the person's requesting, is it possible that it can be done in the business, in the workplace, without a negative impact on the business itself or the other team members around? So for example, in some roles, it might be reasonable to adjust someone's working hours so that they start and finish a little bit later each day. But in other roles, like in nursing, for example, in a hospital environment, that might not be possible because you need certain people on at shifts in certain times. In some roles, it might be possible to swap around tasks between members of the team, but in other situations, that wouldn't be doable. So there's no sort of hard and fast, this is reasonable, this isn't. It's very much about using your judgment as a manager. Uh, We do talk about this in our Workplace Mental Health Masterclass for Leaders, and we give a list of sort of possible adjustments that could be available to people. But the important thing is that as managers, we shouldn't assume what someone needs. We need to be able to have conversations with our team members uh, where they come forward and if they are requesting some kind of change or flexibility, uh, we take their lead in that and and ask, is it possible? Can we do this? Is Would a reasonable person think that this is doable? It doesn't mean you have to accommodate any request that someone puts forward either. So I think it might be better if for my mental health and well-being, if my manager sent me to work from the Bahamas for a week, that would be a an adjustment that I'd request, but most places would say that it's probably not reasonable <laughs> within within our environment. In short, it's a judgment call. Speak to your superior if you're not sure. Speak to HR, get legal advice, and go from there. Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week. So when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.